Hi, dear and kids. Welcome back. It is week three of Crafting with Chigan. Chigan, can you say hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, everybody, we are so glad that you're joining us again. Yes, this is our baggie, but before we get to that, um, I want to encourage you to go on over and go to the Ollie video for February week three and check out the story about Jesus and the centurion because it's going to let you know about our whole theme of what we're learning about. All right, so you can show us the baggie that we got. Perfect. Can you open it up and tell our friends what's inside? Uh huh. So we got string. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a heart to cut out. Mm -hmm. Got some some noodles. Nice. What do you think we're making? A noodle necklace. Tegan's going to start with our first step. And our first step is to color. So yeah. get your favorite things that you like to color with, either crayons or markers. All right, Or geez. pencils. <laughs> You can turn around and show it to the camera. Nice. And do you know what our heart says? No? Let's see. It says, Jesus loves me. All right, and our next step, Tegan already knows, is to cut out our heart. Now, you want to be very careful, though, when you cut out your heart, that you don't cut too close to this hole here, okay? So cut right on the dotted line, but don't cut right into the hole there, okay? Alright friends, we're on our next step and this is I think the most fun step of them all. We get to put our necklace together. Now you will notice on your string one side has a piece of tape on there and the reason why I did this is so it's really easy for you to put the noodles onto your necklace, okay? Mm, so, alright Tegan. Yeah, that's what it's for. And you know what? This usually goes in the middle of our necklace, but you can put it wherever you want because it's your necklace. I'm putting it in the nice. I want to put it there. And you know what? Every time that you string on a noodle, maybe we can talk about how um, friends can help each other, just like Jesus helped the centurion. So, Tegan, how can a good friend help another friend? By teaching people. Yeah, you can teach your friends something. Maybe something they don't know. Friends can help each other, um, help each other up. Maybe say if you fall down, a friend helps each other up, right? It helps them feel better, gives them a hug. How else can you help a friend? Have you helped a friend at school? I do my teach, I help my teacher like a big SK. Yeah. When we were at recess. Mm -hmm. the, the, so this little girl was alone and she was a SK, a JK from her class. Yep. And my teacher said to help her. And you helped her? By playing, but we played with her. Good job. Yes, you can be a good friend to help someone. That's right. Well, there's Tegan's necklace. So we're on our last step. So this you can get um, your mom or your daddy or grandma and grandpa or aunt and uncle to help you or big brother or sister to help you out. So we're not going to use scissors just yet. So Tegan, stand up so I can measure.
All right, so this necklace is a good reminder of who loves you, Tegan? Jesus loves me. That's right. And then when anyone asks you, hey, what does your necklace say? You can say, Jesus loves me and he loves you too. All right, everyone, we hope to see you on the next crafting video and we'll see you there. Okay, bye everybody. Bye. Stuck on your lip? Uh huh. Let's see it again. Ow. It doesn't. Okay, give it to me.